everybody welcome back to my channel um if you watch my wizarding trunk unboxings pretty regularly you would have you would have known that not the last unboxing but the well, unboxing before i said i was skipping the next bi-monthly box um but the fomo was real and i have it here with me this is the headmaster box that i said i was gonna skip well i had the money to just buy it and i went ahead and bought it because the fomo is real and I know especially sorry if you can hear my neighbor's dog like I said the FOMO is real I knew they'd probably have a portrait pin of Dumbledore maybe I'm not sure I don't know so I don't know the FOMO is real I said like like I said the last one I was going to skip which was the Ministry of Magic one and then I got that one and I actually really liked that box so it was like I'm just gonna do it so here we are this is the headmaster box so I'm assuming it's all Dumbledore related it could have been other headmasters in the past too um, if they want to include that I'm not sure for me I'm saying it's Dumbledore they did send out an email to all of their subscribers for this box it, it did ship in a high security vault box which is mainly for the which is for the um, quarterly uh, subscription box which is our special edition boxes this is not a special edition box it's just in that box rather than the ones we get uh, for the bi-monthly that are normally themed around the theme so with that I also have another little announcement I <laughs> was given my birthday was this past Monday sorry about last weekend I did not post a video um, because one I was celebrating my birthday a little bit with my family and to the video I had planned I did not finish in time and then I absolutely hate it so I don't even know if I'm gonna post that video so we'll see so sorry about last I'm uh, missing last week um, but in lieu of my birthday I was given this little happy birthday present from a follower of mine here on YouTube and they requested that I open this on camera and so I will open this at the very end of this video so stay tuned if you're curious as what's in here because I have absolutely no idea. <laughs> so with that, let's get into the box. All right, so opening it up, you get first looks. What is it? What is it? Not much of a first look. You get a bunch of brown boxes. So we're gonna, no, I like it. I like it down here. Okay. Some paper. So I see this little thing sticking out in the corner. So I want to open this. I wonder if this is a pillowcase. Okay, this is a pillowcase. And it has a little moon in the inside with some more like alchemy symbol. This is more like celestial kind of um, astrology-esque. Kind of makes me think of. I don't know what this is intended to be if it's intended to be anything i'm sure the cheat sheet will let me know and if not i'm sure one of you will <laughs> so there's a little pillowcase all right the next thing in here we've got another one of those unlocking magic boxes um so i'm sure it's continuing on with the key keychain collection so this looks like it's probably a key to dumbledore's office because it has that beautiful griffin there that's, you know, there with the spiraling staircase. I'm gonna take it out. This one's actually really pretty. A spiraling staircase. Okay, the next thing I see in here, oh my gosh, it's a portrait pin. But guess what? It's not Dumbledore. I believe, um, what is it the scene or I believe it was the, a woman I don't think it was another man but it was a portrait and Harry saw it moving it was like trying to talk to them the secret doorway you know what I'm talking about is that what this portrait is um, the doorway behind the portrait that's what I think this is um, which goes to like Dumbledore's brother's house or something like that I can't remember. Forgive me for not being, you know, A plus star on my Harry Potter knowledge. I read the books in middle school. Um, I have not read them again. I was going to and I just didn't. I read like two books <laughs> and then stopped. Um, and like I still have trouble even remembering movie stuff. So forgive me, but I think this is, you know, 
Um, I know I have a few followers who are Harry Potter stands and they tell me all the information that I miss so if you know there's something I say that I'm not that I'm not sure of um, and somebody check the comments because I'm sure there's somebody down there who will correct me um, because they know it better than I do <laughs> but yes this is still a very pretty portrait but super cool all right, the next thing we have in here, oh, ooh, looks like a pocket watch of sorts. Yep, I've got a big old necklace so you can wear it if you want to. I actually have a pocket watch somewhere. I thought it was hanging over there, but it's not what well, one of my little pocket watches are, but not like the big, this is like an astronomy clock kind of, but we've got like astrology, kind of symbols right and then when you open it I like the detail of it too like even just like around the side the detail here and then the detail on the like pendant part but when you open it that is so cool you can't tell time with this watch it kind of points at I mean I guess if they told you what was 12 o'clock you might be but it's not that kind of clock uh, but again it looks like we have some planetary symbols that's what it looks like like mercury venus and stuff like that and then planets on the inside so i think that is super cool um that is super awesome <laughs> the next thing i have to take out of here because it's taking so much room in this box we've got this giant enormous box that took took you can see it in the preview it took up like half this whole box so i'm curious as to what this is i'm hoping for a griffin or a phoenix maybe styrofoam you know i hate it but love the things that come in it most of the time oh my gosh come out styrofoam Oh my gosh, it is. Oh my gosh, it's not. Oh my gosh. Okay, I saw the back and I thought the back was like the corridor, like where the griffin is and that the griffin was going to be in the middle. But I'm even more, I'm even more excited. I wonder if you can even see it. I'm sorry, I'm being a little teased. It's a pensive, um, pensive, pensive, however you want to say it. I love, love, love this. You know, I'm trying to collect a bunch of memory vials, some that are Harry Potter inspired, that have like Harry Potter dates, and then some for my travels that I'm putting my own liquids in. I have a few back here on this shelf. This will be amazing if once I have like so many, amazing to display with them. And then look at the water detail inside. Like, it looks like I can dip my finger in there. That, oh my God, that is so, that is so beautiful. And I love this kind of like antique glass it's got going on here and then the like cathedral type points. I love it. Oh, this is gorgeous. This is gorgeous. I, I love that. Oh my God. Like I say, if you have memory vials, display them with your memory vials. That's going to look so cool. Okay, the next thing I want to pull out, which I probably should have pulled out first, because now we have styrofoam flakes all over it. But it's, I'm very, very intrigued because it's in a velvet box, and we've got this symbol here. I don't know what it is. There's an M on the middle. I don't know why I'm thinking of Merlin for some reason. But, yeah, I've got a little velvet box. Oh, opens long ways. Oh my God, look at this. This is fancy. First class, Order of Merlin. So it is Merlin. Um, acts of courage are great magical achievement. This is so cool. This looks like a legit medal, and I'm assuming this is a take on like Order of the Phoenix, um, Order of Merlin. Um, and your acts of bravery, you know, 
being a part of the order. But look at this, you guys. It's a whole freaking medallion. That is actually really cool. That is so cool. Okay, next thing in here is in a tube. Um, it looks kind of, there's two things in here. So maybe there is a book cover and something else. I love when there's something else because like I said, I don't collect the book cover. So let's see what this one is. Oh, this is cute. The Phoenix Life Cycle. Rebirth, Burn Day. Oh, I'm doing this wrong. Rebirth. Adolescence, maturity, burn day. That is so. I love that. It tells you like the little life cycle. You can read about it a little bit. I love the art. I love the foiling always. That is so great. I'm going to have the coolest like apothecary looking room with all my like stuff hanging on the wall. It's going to look so cool. Can't do it yet. I have big plans and futures for whenever I move into a, you know, my own house. Yeah, I have plans and you bet I'm going to be making videos about it, like decor stuff. I'm like excited for it, although it's going to give it a year or so. And this looks like it is a book cover for the greater good um, that's by Artemis Wild. Um, yeah, it's like a red burgundy kind of leather, um, with like some green accents, gold foiling, we got some phoenixes maybe, and even on the ends here, it's like phoenix feather, phoenix feathers. So this is what this book cover looks like. Again, another really pretty book cover. Or a book I do not own so as always these book covers this book cover will be in my Macari shop so if you're interested in it check the link below um, hopefully it will be there all right now we've got two more boxes before we get into our paper products um, this one's heavier so I think this is our potion so I'm gonna go in this one <laughs> Oh, and I might have been wrong too. <laughs> this one, that one is heavier, so that was probably like a, a statue or so, of such. Guys. Okay. 1000% happy I did not skip this box. See, what did I tell you guys? The FOMO is real, and I love all the boxes, and there's, I would have been upset if I would have missed this. We got another, another memory vial, and this one says Orphanage because um, I'm, I'm assuming this one is for Tom Riddle because he was an orphan and Dumbledore went to go meet with him in the orphanage, right? So I'm assuming that's what this memory is of Tom Riddle in the orphanage. Um, this one is wide. We don't have this one. I know that I think they did make a vial wide already, but I don't have that one. So... <clears throat> See, I would have been so upset. I would have missed out on the Pensieve and the Memory Vial. That would have upset me a lot. Um, and I would have had to buy them individually anyways. And then it's just so worth it to buy the box. I, what more can I say? I, I absolutely, absolutely love these. I love them. I love this. Keep these coming, please. Like, literally, as I've said... This one also has like a little bit of a shimmer inside. There's like some chunk floating around in here. So I don't know if whatever mica glitter they put in here just clumped up and it needs a better shake. Um, I don't mind having a clumps in here. It is what it is. But like just a little bit of shimmer can, if you can see in there. And then there's the label. I don't know if you can see that chunk floating in there. But I think it kind of gives it a little character, but, you know, I don't know. Like I said, I want yellow ones. I want ones that look gross and look like they've been, like, sitting there for forever. So I'm assuming that's our potion. <laughs> but then what is this heavy thing? It 
it's a potion. We get two bodily things. I'm excited. Because <laughs> normally, haven't they done it before? Like, we don't get a potion. Like, this is our potion. I could be wrong. This is a potion. Is it? Ooh. Oh my gosh, it's thick. <gasps> Guys, okay. So we did get a potion. And it is 100% pure Hungarian dragon's blood. That is so cool. What I like is it's not shaken all the way. There's a lot of glitter in here that could be shaken. But I don't know if you can see the movement right there. But this is not just like a liquid. It's like kind of thick. And let me shake it. Oh, even shaking it doesn't really do much. The back part's not shaking, I think maybe because it was laying down. But you can see that there. You can see like the bubbles. I'm being honest, I don't care for the glitter in here very much. I think just a nice thick red goo goop would have been perfect. Um, I don't think I need the glitter and I think there's too much that it's not even completely shaken inside. Like it's stuck on the bottle right here and it just looks like, you know, glitter. Let me know what you think. Do you like when they have the glitter and the sparkles in it? I do for the most for most of them, um, but I think like this one I think would have been fine just without it, or maybe a little, just a little bit of glitter, not this much glitter. I think they put probably too much in here, but I like how this is more viscous and not so liquidy, a little bit thicker. Um, and I did want to make a dragon's blood of my own, so. Maybe I can do a different kind of type of dragon. That'd be a good idea. Hmm? Right? I don't know. So let me th know what you think about this. If you agree with me about the whole glitter situation. Or if you think it's perfect with glitter in it. You like that sparkle. Uh, but yes, we did also get a potion. Which I think is super cool. Alright, now moving on to the paper products. We have a another recipe card. And this one is for Sherbet Lemon Candies. Of course, it's Dumbledore's favorite candy. Um, that is super cute. This is what that looks like on both sides. From the kitchen of Albus Dumbledore. That's what, <laughs> that's what I think the AD is. That's new. That's cute. Oh, I love that. Okay, so there's that. And I guess I could help you a little bit, like if you don't know maybe who it's for, from or based off of the recipe, um, A.D. Albus Dumbledore, or you know, you'll have one for M.W. and you'll know, oh, Molly Weasley, you know, I think that would be cute. All right, so moving on, we've got this print, um, which I'm assuming is Dumbledore's office. So here's the print of Dumbledore's office. As I, as I was looking, it looks like things we have gotten in the box, like the Phoenix Care Kit and the uh, pocket watch, the pen sieve, the book. Um, yeah, that. Is, oh, even the key that we got is down here. This is this is a very pretty art print. All right, next thing in here. Oh my gosh, this. See guys, I can't skip any any of the boxes. Like I can't. I just physically can't do it anymore because now we have two book pages from our magical creatures from A to Z book. And for v, we have V, which is a vampire, and Villa. Wait, didn't we already get this? I'm confusion. I feel like we've gotten Villa before, so I'm assuming we've gotten this before. I need to go check. I'm I'm confusion. But anyways, here's the art for Villa. And then here is the art for a vampire. I like the vampire art. I think that's cool. I don't know. I swear we saw Villa before. So I'm going to have to go check that. And then the other one we have that I'm sure we do not have is Q, which is... Hmm, Quinn? Quillin? 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 A Quillin? Quillin? I don't know how to say that. Don't know what that is. So I'm going to have to read up on that. And then we've got a Quinotar. Quinotar? Also don't know what that um, animal is. So I am going to have to check up on that. What mythologies are these from? Okay, this one's from Chinese mythology. It says 
Um, I don't know much about Chinese mythology. All right, so our last paper product in here. Oh, this is actually really thin. This almost feels like it was printed on like printer paper versus like when we get our art prints, it's all on this like thick paper. This is really, really thin and probably going to get damaged. <laughs> but it looks like we have a picture of who I would say is Dumbledore, but it's probably Merlin. Um, you know what I mean. Is this an AI made picture? They say that because with AI, a lot of the hands are messed up and his hand is like janked up right here. So I'm wondering if this is like an AI made picture, which I have my whole feelings about AI. I'm not sure about it yet. All right, so that is it for this box. Let's get into my favorites and least favorites. Oh, and I remember one of my videos, I said my favorites, but did not say my least favorite. Um, so I will try to remember this time. So favorites are probably the Pensieve and the, the Memory Vial. Are you surprised? Of course this had to be in here and I'm, this is gonna look so awesome with all of them like stacked around eventually whenever I have enough. Um, this is gonna look super cool. So these are my favorite. I'm so, 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 so happy about those items. My least favorites, um, I hate saying art. I hate saying art is normally my least favorite because like I said, art's very subjective. Some people work really hard on it and I don't like saying it's my least favorite. But this one looks like it could be AI generated and it's on super, super, super thin paper. Like if I don't frame this right away, it is going to get ruined, I already know that. Um, and then this one, it is very pretty and I love that it has all the little things in here. Just not one of my favorites that we've had. And so I hate doing that, but I'm looking around trying to think of something else I would pick. And honestly, yeah, no, I like, I love pretty much like almost everything in this box. Let's get into our cheat sheet. And, and lately, I don't think they're changing them now. I think they're just going to continue to look like uh, newspapers. Uh, Cause before we would have like a different looking um, cheat sheets, but they've been pretty similar uh, lately. So let's get into the cheat sheet. Number one, the basin, AKA the, the pensive. <laughs> if used correctly, this basin can see into the past, present, and even give a glimpse into the future. Number two, the greater good book cover. This book outlines the art of war and the responsibility that comes to those who rule. It fits the fifth UK edition book designed for us by Wizardry Workshop. Number three, writing desk pillow cover this pillow cover will look great next to your writing desk writing desk designed for us by wizardry workshop number four vial of the past this vial gives you a look into an orphanage label designed for us by here be monsters number five the pocket watch a peculiar pocket watch adorned with no numbers and a few too many hands watch face designed by wizardry workshop Number six, Phoenix Life Cycle Print. This print shows the life cycle of the Phoenix all the way up until their burning day, designed by Wizardry Workshop. Number seven, Dragon's Blood. There are so many magical uses for Dragon's Blood. Can you name a few? Bottled for us by Pure Blood Apothecary, label designed by Wizardry Workshop. Number eight, Portrait Pin. This portrait pin is the next in your collection. Number nine, <laughs> Office door key. Have you used all the magical sweet names you can think of? Use this key to unlock the office instead. Designed by JP Mistlecrow. Number 10, the office. How many items in this box can you spot in the office? Designed by JP Mistlecrow. Number 11, creature page. This creature page gives you all the information you may need about the Quillen written by the Wizarding Trunk. Designed by Wizardry Workshops. Okay, I think they mistakenly added the vampire and villa one in in my box again. Cause I swear we've had that one already. And they didn't put it in the in the cheat sheet. Number 12, Sherbert Lemon Recipe Card. Looking to visit the headmaster? Be sure to make a special batch of homemade Sherbert lemons, written by the Wizarding Trunk and designed by Wizardry Workshop. Number 13. 
Order of Merlin First Class. Given to only the most elite witches and wizards, we present you with the Order of Merlin First Class, designed for us by Here Be Monsters 28. Number 14, Sleeping Portrait. This portrait hangs on the wall with the others who served before, designed by Wizardry Workshop. So now moving on to Editor's Choice, I always want to mention these. This month we have Kaylee Christensen, um, and it looks like there's a link there to follow her on Instagram. So that's where it seems like she posts the most. Um, and yeah, I'm sure I have it up for you to look at. So that's our editor's choice of this box. And next bi-monthly box theme is Magical Artifacts, which I am looking forward to that one a little bit. So that's it for this box. Make sure to leave a comment what your favorite and least favorite item was. Do we have any similar favorites? Um, and like I said, I am going to open this little birthday surprise, I guess, on camera. Um, so let's go ahead and open this. Feel free to stay if you want to. But I love a good mystery unboxing. Especially when it's from a follower. <laughs> we got some face masks, guys. Um, we've got... Ooh, what is this one? This one looks fancy. Bird's Nest Moisturizer. Okay got this one stretch claw got this mask and then we've got a 24 karat gold mask fancy well thank you very much thank you for watching this unboxing and i'll see you next time bye <laughs>